Join our hosts as they learn how the latest gyro stabilizer technology from Seakeeper can vastly improve your boating experience during this week's Marine Product Showcase. For today's Marine Product Showcase, we're joined by Kelsey Barrett from Seakeeper, and we're going to have a look at how the Seakeeper gyro stabilizer system is changing the lives of boaters today. All right, we're heading out to a fishing spot and we're getting ready to see what the Sea Keeper's all about. But before we do that, there's a process involved in getting the Sea Keeper started up and ready to use for the day. Why don't you walk me through that? Um, so it's actually a really simple process. First thing you're gonna do is just turn the power to the Sea Keeper on. Uh, it takes the Sea Keeper 2 that we have on this boat, takes 24 minutes, spool up to stabilization. So in 24 minutes, you're gonna be able to unlock the Sea Keeper and start using the stabilization. So when you get to the dock and you're putting the cooler on board and everybody's loading up and you're kind of getting things situated, you're making way out the channel, by the time you're out here and you're ready to start fishing, you're completely stable. Okay, well, it's been over 30 minutes since we turned the unit on. Why don't we stop the boat and see what this thing's all about? Let's see what you can do. Yeah, let's all do right. it. Okay, Kelsey. Let's treat this like this is a day on the water for you and I, and I've never seen a sea keeper in action before. There is a little bit of wave action. We're in about two to three foot little swells. But more importantly, what we're seeing here is the roll angle of the boat is as much as 12 degrees either direction. So that's you know fairly significant when the waves come by, a boat wave passes us by. We're gonna bottom fish right now, and we don't want to roll like this. What are we gonna do now? That is the easiest question of all to answer. We're going to simply turn the Sea Keeper on. So right now, as you can see, we're rolling around. Um, with So the, the flywheel is already spinning, so that means the Sea Keeper is already on. But right now we have it locked in place, so it's not stabilizing, as you can tell. <laughs> so with just a very simple press of this button, instantaneously. Well, that took forever. Yeah, instant and that's it. That's all you do. So you pretty much set it and forget it and go about your day fishing. So now we're seeing zero i mean zero one degree roll angle here from 12 degrees that's significant and you can obviously see it on the horizon yep. now how is this going to change my life think about this for a second i mean if i'm a boater in my experience as a charter captain for 40 years uh, i've seen a lot of people deal with seasickness right. so a day like this even a little two three foot swell is going to really affect some people's enjoyment seasickness and then what we just experienced that ultimate comfort factor so if you're out charter fishing every day or if you're out just for fun with your family it's more comfortable for the kids it's more comfortable for everyone on board you don't come back from a day fishing completely beat up with your knees shot it just makes the whole experience a lot more comfortable well there's a lot mechanical that we need to look at and actually need to look at how the unit installs why don't we move to the back and have a look at this rig and see what it's doing okay so we have the sea keeper 2 installed inside of this leaning post and you'll Ooh. see it right there. It's magic. It is magic. A little fairy dust on the back of the boat, and here we are. Well, tell me what I'm looking at. So this sphere right now is vacuum sealed, and inside that sphere, there's a steel flywheel that's spinning at 9,000 RPMs. That's how fast the Seakeeper 2 spins. The other units are a little bit different. And so as that flywheel spins, you're watching this sphere tilt fore and aft as the waves come across the side of the boat. And that's distributing the force through that rocking motion that's distributing the force to port and starboard, almost like pushing your gunnel down when the wave wants to push it up, or vice versa, and that stabilizes the boat. Now, I'm thinking about it in terms of how simple is it to install, and I, I understand this box right here, this helm station, is made to accommodate this, but there's a lot of different scenarios where mm -hmm. you might need to find the space. It's usually going to be mounted on a smaller boat above the deck, and there are a number of options to get a box that you can incorporate the tackle station and your seating into it and mm -hmm. house the seat keeper underneath it, correct? Yep, so we can do a custom leaning post. If it, if it doesn't already fit under the seat or leaning post that you have, and then the, the one, two, and three are all battery powered. So they're DC units. They can be mounted just like this in a leaning post. Um, sometimes people put them beneath the actual helm. Uh, sometimes they go below deck. And, and the cool thing about the sea keepers is they don't actually have to be on center line. They work the exact same, even if they're off center line. Wow. So on a smaller boat, you know, you might have to worry a little bit more about the weight. And as you have to counterweight, things like that. But, you know, on the bigger boats, they can stick them off to the side. They can do multiple on either side. Um, and they work exactly the same. Now, another option is if you're getting a new boat built, there are manufacturers that are prepared to install that sea keeper yes. while the boat's being put together. Yeah, we work with more than 300 manufacturers, actually. Um, there's uh, many of them offered as optional equipment on different models, and a lot of them even offered as standard equipment. So if you get some of the Scout models, 
center consoles, they're going to come with a Seakeeper already on board. Well, this was all certainly proof definitively that the Seakeeper gyro stabilizer is absolutely going to improve your boating experience, especially in light of the fact that they're making them a lot smaller, they're a lot lighter, and they're a lot more affordable. You're going to see them on a lot smaller boats, and that's going to really improve the lives of a lot more boaters on the water.